This is Nina Curley of Wamda Media. I'm here with Paris Norris, the founder of RISE, a Dubai-based mentorship organization. Paris, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Excellent. So tell us about RISE. Um, what sets you apart? There are several mentorship training organizations out there. What do you guys do that's different? Well, the ethos for our business and the reason we founded our business is I wanted to create leadership taught by leaders. Um, I, I see a lot available to people in terms of uh, educational courses and, and, and things taught by academics. But I thought there was a space that uh, where entrepreneurs and, and managers and CEOs uh, can come together and interact with people who have achieved. People who have not just been in leadership positions, but have proven to be successful leaders. Uh, because when we look at what what is leadership and, and what is it that makes a great leader, it's not necessarily that they have the most knowledge or information, but they have a manner and ability uh, to energize people, to set visions, to, uh, to communicate well, to, uh, to command a room. And these sorts of things are behavioral. And we learn these from seeing people do it. I mean, that's one way we can learn. Uh, and um, so really that's what we wanted to create and the mentors on our program have all achieved a very high level of success in what they do. So we, we match them with people who want to follow that, that path. Do you work very hard to vet them? How do you do that? I mean, do you assess their personal charisma along a checklist or how do you, how do you decide who's good? Well, with the mentors, they, they all have to have achieved a very high level of success and, and we, we do a, a very uh, thorough uh, vetting, as you called it. Uh, we, we, we look at not just uh, what they have achieved as such, but the journey they've been through, because that's how we match an entrepreneur with, with a mentor, because uh, it's not necessarily that they have the same uh, industry experience, but that they understand the challenge that they're going through and, and that they've walked that path before. So that's what uh, we do with the mentors and with the mentees. We're really looking for ambition more than anything because uh, if somebody is is lost and doesn't know the steps forward, that's exactly what we're there to help them with. Uh, so we're not necessarily looking for somebody with all the answers who knows, who knows what they want to do and knows the way to get there because uh, if there are people like that, that's, that's you know, they're, they're on the route already. We're there to help people who, who uh, need an impartial advisor, uh, would appreciate the, uh, the structured element of having some steps to walk forward. Because uh, often when you're an entrepreneur, you don't know what, what, what way do I turn? What, right. are, what, what are the next things I should do in the next few months? Right. Um, and so when it comes to those entrepreneurs presenting you guys with challenges, what are the top challenges that you see in the ones that you're looking at? And what are, what are the primary pieces of advice you see mentors giving those entrepreneurs? Well, I think what I mentioned there was, you know, entrepreneurs don't have uh, a set structure in their, in their daily life and not necessarily uh, a three-month or a six-month plan. And so a mentor is able to put some structure uh, to, to identify what are the uh, priorities right now and give them an actual action plan of what they need to do. They're also able to identify the uh, competency, competency deficiencies. So to say, okay, you're a great talker, but you're in operations, you need to work on this. So th this is what we need to, to do to, uh, to improve that. So that's uh, one of the things. And I think, you know, entrepreneurs, they, it, it's, it's a lonely world, so to have an impartial advisor that you can rebound things off of and, uh, and get some uh, impartial advice, because uh, often we, there's an abundance of people willing to give you advice, uh, but it's not always impartial, so that's really where a mentor comes in. I see. And finally, just what do you think needs to change in the ecosystem here? Well, I think there's some fantastic examples of leadership in the Middle East. Um, we're in Dubai now. This has got to be one of the biggest success stories in the last 10, 15 years. And I think it's important to pass down those lessons so the next generation are, are prepared to take it further uh, and not stay the same or not move backwards. So uh, it's important for the, the leaders of, of the region to be able to pass down those lessons, those experiences, those values more than anything else uh, to, the, to the next generation. Paris, thanks so much for chatting with Mamda. Thank you very much.